Okay, uh, Sabrina Diana, right? Okay, so Sabrina, I, I think you know how's my the way that I'm teaching you in the class. I prefer uh, some sound for I mean the noise for you from the students. Okay, okay. So even though you are just one person enter this uh, platform. But we are still waiting for others. Maybe they will join later, but never mind. Uh, even though you are the first, I mean, the only one, you still uh, take it as, take it as a, a, a positive thing. Uh, be easy and don't be stressed, okay? So, because you are coming to the class, just imagine that you are coming to the class. Don't think about others because maybe they are not in the correct time. Maybe they will arrive later, okay? Okay, so as usual, I will share my screen and I will definitely recommend it. You to read some notes from my uh, notes now. Okay. Okay. Hope you can see my screen. Okay. Uh, can you see my screen? <coughs> okay. So. Okay, I will go for the exercise. So reading paper one, this is our, our exercise for today. Okay, because this is uh, simplest things. I mean, the simplest way that we can teach you. So that's why I'm took this, I choose to this topic as it's easy for us to discuss. Okay, that's why. Okay, for question number one, sample question. Huh? It is never uh, too early to reach, I mean, to teach children manners. At around 18 months, kid begins to grasp that there are certain accepted social graces. As parents, we should set the stage by being polite and helping children to think about other people's feelings. Children pick up good manners and habits from their parents who are their role models. Even two years old can learn to say please and then thank you. And children need manners to be accepted in today's world. Good manners convey a sense of respect and considerations for other people. So which of these statements is true? Children can acquire manners even when they are happy babies. Parents are responsible for teaching their children good manners. Well-mannered children are successful in future. So. <clears throat> okay. So this one, well managed students are successful in future. So to point out, do children learn manners when they are still babies? Yes or no? Okay. This one is just additional exercise. Huh? Okay, do children learn good manner for their parents from their parents? Do all good mannered children become successful in futures? Not so. Okay, maybe some will be different. Okay, it depends on the children's characteristic. Okay, Hema Hemala Kumar, the only child of bus driver R. Kumar, 47, and housewife Susila Achunten, uh, succumbed back to hard failure on March 31, but she still lives on in a different way as her eyes, kidney and fourth heart, her heart, so rewards have been donated to eight people at their parents' request. So which statement is true about Himala? She donated all her organs, she died after donating her, her heart, or she died uh, due to heart complications. Okay, yeah, which one is back? Uh, Uh, what is your answer?
kalau A betul tak? Lah. Apa? Kalau A? Ha A. Sebab dia cakap dia tak mati. She died. No. Complication. She died after donating her height. Eja. Eh, si. She died after donating a heart. Sebab lepas kita dah donate kita punya heart, kita mana boleh hidup. Lepas heart can uh, major parts of our body which is need to pump the blood. We cannot, we won't stay alive. So okay. it's, it's be. Mana yang bahagian mati tu? Ha? Huh? Mana bahagian yang mati tu? That's why we say succumb back to heart. Failure. Maksud dia tersirat. Kamu dia tak tersurat, dia tersirat. That's why dia kata sini. But she still lives on a different way as a eyes, a kidney, four heart valves. See? Dia masih hidup. Walaupun dia sudah meninggal, dia masih hidup. Tetapi dalam tujuh kaedah yang berbeza. For example, Uh, dia punya mata ada orang lain pakai, dia punya kidney orang lain pakai, dia punya heart orang lain pakai macam tu. Uh, okay. Dia kena fikir logik lah kira-kira. Fikir logik dan satu lagi you kena uh, fahamkan maksud dia betul-betul sebab maksud dia tersilat. It's beyond the word. So that's, that's the trick is there. Okay. Okay, I Adam. Adam, I'm extremely sorry for not informing you about the game being postponed to next week. I was told by John that you went to the stadium only to be informed on of the change then. It was my mistake. Please do forgive me. So which of the statement is true? Rama. Rama is royal player in his team. No, Rama is apologetic about his mistake and Rama is curious about the game schedule so so it is Rama is apologetic about his mistake okay okay number three Get 30% discounts on the book Cyber Safe Kids, Cyber Savvy Teens, written by Nancy E. Villiard. Okay, presence is this coupon upon payment to enjoy the special discount on any Knox and Corners bookstore nationwide, except at the Unity uh, Unity Shopping Complex branch. This offer is valid for one-time use and only original coupon will be accepted. Offer period is from 10 August to 31 August. So which statement is true about the, the advertisement? The discount is offered at Knox and Corners bookshops nationwide. Or you must present the original coupon to get the discount. Or the discount is only valid for the whole month of August, which is the correct answer. B, you must present the original coupon to see the discount. Yes, it's B. Okay. Okay, number four. Okay. A delightful month long even. The colors of Malaysia opens with over 6,000 performers under one roof with exotic costumes and vibrant music as uh, showcased in a spectacular parade. The festival slogan Malaysia truly Asia matches the rich cultures where Malay blends with Indian, Chinese, Portuguese, Dutch and British influence. Dutch means it's a uh, Netherlands, Holland. Eh? Which of the following statement is true? The Colors of Malaysia is a parade uh, which take place every month. Or the Colors of Malaysia is the festival that take place in a building. Colors of Malaysia is an event which display the diverse cultures of Malaysia. So I think you got the answer. C. Yes, it sees. It's a diverse cultures of Malaysia. That's the colors of India. Welcome to Vintage Malaya. Your source of information to be to the rich art. art. Wait. 
<clears throat> Architectural and historical heritage of Malaysia. The website is an attempt to capture photographs and highlights the heritage building structures and sites that exist in Malaysia today. The website also aims to promote at promoting awareness and interest in our rich architectures or built heritage. So which of the following statement is true about vintage Malaya? Which one? You can find photographs of heritage building in Malaysia on this site. It is a website which caters to the rich Malaysians antique lovers. Or the website keeps pictures of buildings and structures in Malaysia. Which one is correct? It's E. Okay. Okay, number six. So number six, I would like to call I mean, I would like to offer someone to help me to read this extract. Who wants to be the volunteer? Number six. Me. Yeah, you may continue. Dear sir, I'm a neighbor near my house. It's part of my past. It was a recreation ground for people of all ages. Young children play. They bend in and eat. Elders use it for the, their walk. Unfortunately, now it has become an eyesore. The strings are broken, the benches are also in a bad state, and the garden has been neglected. I appeal to the council to do something to restore it to its former state. Shongli. So, which of the following statement is true? The facilities in Tamalba are not well maintained. Yes, the facilities is not well maintained. Okay, okay. Number seven, doctors of the world team. Doctors of the world has a thirty years history of outstanding medical and humanitarian service. We need your help. Send your contributions to doctorsworld.org.my and appeal. So which of the statement? Doctor of the world has 30 years of medical experience. Doctors of the world is appealing for donations for the public. So doctors of the world offers only humanitarian service. B, doctors of the world is paying for donations from the public. Yes, it's B. Okay, traffic matters. Parts of the roads around Dataran Kemerdekaan Shah Alam will be closed on Sunday from 6.30 to 6.30 p.m. I mean 12 hours. In conjunction with Shah Alam car free day, the roads affected uh, uh, the road affected are Persiaran Bandaraya, Persiaran Tasik, Persiaran Masjid, Persiaran Damai. Motorists are advised to use alternative routes to get to their destinations. Which of the statement is true about the Shah Alam Car Free Road Closure? B. Only motorists will be affected by the closure of the roads. Yes, only because they, they mentioned motorist. Okay, because they, they said use the alternative way. So that's why the motorist. Now. Okay. We completed practice one. We move on to practice two. So as usual, first question, who wants to read? Clang, 22 children from the orphanage. Who want to read?
Uh, me. Yes, continue. Clown, 22 children from two open age show off their artistic skills and two of them were in a kite making competition at a shopping mall here. Divided in 10 teams of two, the teenagers aged 13 to 15 used their creativity to create cards of unique colors and designs. With the tiger as the contest requisite team, they craft their, their kite designs around it. So based on the newspaper report, which of the following statement is true? C. The tiger was the main team for this kite making competition. Yes, the tiger was the main team of the kite making competitions. Okay. Okay, number two. Denise, mom, I don't feel like going to see Uncle Bob today. Why, Denise? There, what's the matter? I feel tired and I have a headache. So let me have a look at you. Your eyes are red and you seem to be under the weather. So let me check your temperature. Which of the following statement is true about Denise? He is cold, he is weak, or he is sick? A, he is sick. Under the weather, see what it mean by under the weather. <laughs> what it mean by under the weather? Hmm? Under the weather means your weather normally lah. Twenty seven is the room temperature normally lah. Uh, Twenty seven is room temperature. Maybe outside weather around thirty three something. But it seems that you are under the weather means you are not sick. Sick means you are over the weather means your temperature should be around. 38, 39, or 40 degrees Celsius, that means you are sick. But under the weather means you are cold. Your body temperature drop down because you feel so cold. Okay. It seems like you are having a flu, but it's not so because uh, only under the weather. That means, let's say you are under the weather, you feel like uh, sleepy, headache, not sleepy, headache, and your eyes turn straight. Okay. Okay, number three. There was a fatal accident along Jalan Runga involving a cyclist and motor motorcyclist. The motorcyclist lost control and rammed into the cyclist. The cyclist flew off his bike upon impact and landed in a ravine. So which of the following statement is true? Which one is true? Which one is true? Which one? The motorcyclist is going very fast. The motorcyclist was careless, or one person was killed in the accident. But they not mentioned that the one person was killed, so we cannot take kill. But wait a minute. Motorcyclist is going very fast. The motorcyclist was going very fast. So, which statement is true? Uh, say, I say, 
the motorcyclist was going very fast um because when you when motorcycle pass uh it lost control right yeah it's actually uh, we can put a because when the motorcycle is very fast it lost control another one you can also put uh, the person one person was killed in the accident because when you been raving means gao kala you landed the caravan mostly you tak boleh hidup balik as raving ni tempat yang sangat baik so possible for uh, life is just 20 to 30% saja but now it's not mentioned so we can take a as the answer okay <laughs> okay my dear Tina number 4 tolong baca seorang how are you Um, my dear Tina, how are you? You have not written our call for some time. You must be very busy preparing for the end of term examination. We understand. Actually, I am writing to wish you all the best in coming examination. You have always been a conscientious student and I am sure you will do lots of love, mom. So, which of these statements is true about the reason the letter was written? Which one? To ask yeah. Tina why she was so busy or to encourage and motivate Tina or to, to congratulate Tina for passing? B, to encourage and motivate Tina. To encourage and motivate Tina. Okay. Okay, number five. Which of this, which of these statement is true about the advertisement? Six pillars of character, compulsory course for all students. Six, uh, the date, November, and venue. All students have to be punctual. Or all students must always be at the hall. Or all students must attend the course. So, which one? C. Yes, all students must attend the course because they said compulsory for all students. Okay, number six. Can you? Can someone please recycle mania? Mania is a friendly competition for degree granting college to compete with one another in recycling based contest. This year, recycle mania will run from February thirteen to April thirteen. Registration is due to January eighteen. The goal of Recycle Mania is to increase awareness and involvement in recycling on campus while also prom promoting friendly competition among college. So which of the following statements is true about cycle, Recycle Mania? A. Yes, it's A, Recycle Mania for a focus on increasing awareness about cycling, recycling. Okay, have you heard of the latest craze among children? Yes, it is none other than the fitness, uh, fit jet spinal, I mean spinner. It is supposed to be a stress rel a relieving uh, toy that helps people who have trouble focusing or are uh fit jet tea fit get tea lah. so although they were invented in 1990s uh, fit get spinners become became a popular toy now in 2017 a basic uh fit jet spinner consists a spinner consists of a bearing of in the center of the design and made from uh any of the variety of material including brass stainless steel uh uranium uranium copper and Plastic. So, which of the following statement is true about fit jet sp uh, spinner? Uh, Miss Pina. It was mm -hmm. popular uh, in 1990s, or it was it has a bearing made of plastic and stainless steel. Uh, it may help people who are stressed as it has plastic in the middle. Okay, genius is one percent inspirations and ninety-nine percent uh perspirations it's a perspective lah. so which of the this statement is true number eight 
to achieve something take intelligent being a genius does not mean that you are intelligent or to be success you have to work hard so which is the best answer b yes it is b Okay, so we already move to next practice. Practice one. Okay, uh, can I have a volunteer to read the whole passage? Then later we can discuss the answer. So who wants to be the volunteer first? For practice one. Me. Yeah, you can continue. Mike Fay is a biologist and live in Central Africa for six years while working with the Light Wildlife Conservation Society. He is actively involved in conservation projects in Africa and America, in particular the conservation of elephants in these countries. Fay has actually counted all the elephants that live in Chad, Central Africa, and has walked nearly 3,000 kilometers across North America. He spends so much time outdoors that he says he hasn't slept on a proper bed in the last 10 years. Faye's life has been anything but smooth sailing. He survived a plane crash several years ago. He also faced a very angry elephant which eventually could take him, but fortunately, he survived to tell the tale. Another life threatening the event was when he contracted malaria, which almost cost him his life. Since Faye, uh, since Faye spends a lot of time at home, he prefers to travel light. He usually packs a t-shirt, a pair of shorts, and his favorite sandals for all his trips. He also never fails to bring along his pen knife, a lighter, and a sleeping mat. The best thing about Faye is that he wants to show people the beauty of our uh, planet and how precious it is. He hopes that people will be cared for the planet more. His conservation work eventually got public attention has resulted in the number of elephant deaths in Chad falling, falling significantly. In addition, his work has resulted in the government of Gabon working towards creating, creating new national parks covering 20,000 square kilometers. Uh, of force. Then. Yeah. Okay. So. <clears throat> Thanks for the wonderful read. So we continue. Number one, okay, we must choose the correct grammar from you. He actively involved in conversation, conversation project in Africa and America. So he is, yes, he is, he is a singular. So you must use is. Number two, in America, in particular, the conversations of helipons in these countries countries okay okay Faye, uh, Faye has actually counted all the elephants that live in Chad Central Africa and uh, walk nearly 3,000 kilometers across North America he spends so much time outdoor that, she, that he, she, uh, he says he has not slept on a on a what real actual a proper yes proper bed in the last 10 years Okay. Okay, number four. Face life has been nothing, anything, something or everything. Anything. <clears throat> anything. Anything but smooth sailing. He survived a plane crash several years. He also faced a very angry elephant which eventually attacked him. But 
Happily found, fortunately. yes, fortunately. Okay. Fortunately, he survived to tell the tale. Another life threatening. Another life threatening. Even a fair occasion happening. Yes, event. event. Okay. Event when the concrete. So since Faye. Since Faye spends. Okay, a lot of time outdoor. He prefer to go light, to travel light. He usually bags, lot, packs, or keep. C packs. Packs must put as a singular. Eh? Okay. The best thing about face is that he wants to show people that the the beauty of our and how precious bit of mm -hmm. our what. It's planet. planet. And lastly, number 10 uh, has uh, he hopes that people will care for the planet uh, more. His conversation work, which eventually got the public attention. God, number 10, number 10, which eventually got. Public. Public. <clears throat> yeah. Public is when they got public attentions. Okay. Coral refs. Okay. Okay, for coral ref. So who wants to read the coral refs? Who wants to read? Ada orang nak baca? Kailish Aiman, are you there Kailish Aiman? Uh, yeah. So you can read Kailish Aiman, coral reefs are diverse. Coral reefs are diverse underwater ecosystem held together by calcium carbonate crystal secreted by coral. Coral reefs are by colonies of tiny animal found in marine water few nutrients. Coral reef, reef are probably the earth living community. <laughs> mm. ah, living communities. Most reef, reef are 5,000 and 10,000 year old but rest on that rest lot. Reef which are million of year old. The ref are rich wild species as the rainforest. A single ref may contain 3,000 species of coral, mothcloth, curtain, curtain, and fish. Coral ref, ref are found in tropical seas, the large, largest on in one is Australia Great Barrier Reef at over 2,000 kilometers long. Coral Reef have tens of thousands of years of natural change, but some of them may not be able to survive the havoc brought by mankind. Roughly, one quarter of coral reef worldwide are already considered damage are uh, beyond recovery with the other two third are uh, under a serious threat. Coral reef are very fragile is mainly because they are sensitive to the condition of water. The de delicate balance of the reef being damaged by several 
serve water pollution, removal of power for sale as some souvenir, and destructive, destructive fishing practice as well as overfishing activity, careless boating, diving, and snorkeling around the world with people the reef, reef are have also damaged the reef. Climate change and work and global warming have also significantly plan to the destruction of coral reef. Okay, thank you. So, next for the exercise. Okay. Number one, coral reps. Reps are plural, again. Coral reps are built. Okay, built by colonies of tiny animals found in the marine water. Number two. The rafts are as rich, sorry, number two, by colonies of tiny animals found in marine waters. Containing. Containing. Okay. Containing few nutrients. Coral rafts are probably the hurt. What? The hurt? Oldest. Yes, it is the oldest. Okay. Number four. Okay. The rafts are as rich in wildlife. Yes, in wildlife. Okay. In wildlife. So number five. Coral rafts have she survive. Su survive or surviving? Survive. So it survives because have so have coral rafts have uh, memang dah ada dah okay okay number six roughly one quarter of coral rafts worldwide are already considered damaged which which ataupun due and eh, sama je which are beyond recovery with the other thirds are under a serious threat coral uh, rafts are very fragile. Right, fragile. This? this is mainly, yes, this is mainly, this is mainly uh, because they are sensitive and the condition of water. Careless boating, diving and snorkeling around the world with people. With people what? Touch, touches, touched, or touching. Touching. Yes, it's touching. Number eight, we missed, right? The delicate balance of the ref. It being damaged by several water pollution. So number eight, what? Yes. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> the delicate balance of wraps. Even though it's wraps, plural, but they are considered the delicate balance of wraps. That means all the wraps in one roof. That means we consider as one. That's why it's uh, is. Okay, and lastly, number 10. Uh, climate change and global warming also have significantly to this to the destructions of coral reefs. So number 10, which one? Contributes, contributes, contributed, at the contributing. Which one? Yes, it's a contributing. It's contributing to the destructions of coral reefs. So well done. We have done our first exercise.
so you can uh, take five okay i will i will force us for the next exercise i thought we will not finish but it's all we can finish this one exercise with 45 minutes we still have another 45 minutes which is we are eligible to do another exercise so i will go for uh, let me share my notes Okay, we will move on to exercise six. Okay, I will move on to exercise six. So save later, I will share to you the notes. Exercise six. Okay, <clears throat> exercise six. Okay, where to look the paragraph? This one is explanations. It's not the uh, right one. Okay, we move to the practice one. Okay, practice one is a long paragraph. Okay, so as usual, I offer the first persons who wants to try to read the whole passage. But if possible, can I request for other people, other students who are not yet. Uh, uh, I mean, wise up, or oh, yeah, uh, not at uh, uh, give the wise for this class. Can I? It is long, but I want some of someone from you to try this. Who wants? Who wants that? Dana, so Dana. Um, can I try? Yes, uh, Sabrina, don't lose yourself. Start now. Uh, don't lose yourself. The old bed ridden man said, I was five at the time and my family was visiting him. I can remember his name or how we knew him. But two decades later, his words haunt me, and and I, I as I struggled to come to terms with my life, for years, I had suffered from de depression. The first incident I can remember happened when I was fourteen. As I walked home one day, I was overcome with urge to sit in a corner and weep. I barely managed to reach out flat before bursting into tears. This overwhelming, unexplained feelings written me. By the time I was 16, these outbursts were happening about once a month. Most of the time, I lived my life normally, but then my mind seemed to take on a life on its own. Uh, initially, they happened for no reason, but now everything beca became a reason. I, I found from a teacher, first prize for an essay, a long quick qu qu queue at a canteen stale. It didn't matter whether the incidents were happy, sad, or indifferent. All would be, dis be twisted by my mind into something horrible. One incident I recall vividly was a call from a friend. After we chatted for a while, she said she had to go because her mom was calling her. I spent the next two days agonizing her over whether she had hung up because she, because she hated her. A little voice in my mind kept kept telling me how wordless, hopeless, and stupid I was. I kept I kept this a secret because I was scared and perplexed. I remember was once trying to explain to my friend Alice what was happening to me, but I couldn't find the words to express myself and eventually gave up. Uh, not that my friends were completely unaware of my problems. More than once they tried to talk to me about my own life. My father subject my two younger sisters and me to abuse and my mom did little to support us. I now realize my family problems were a major factor in my depression, but at the time I denied anything was wrong. When I was 17, I concluded that the only way to stop my suffering was simply not to feel anything. This wasn't difficult because I was overwhelmed with my studies. <laughs> 
jobs and looking after my sister. I had no time to think, much less feel. At first, the numbness was a huge relief from the mood swings. But it wasn't long before I realized that there was a vast emptiness in my heart. I could feel my emotions. It got to a point where I could, would cut could myself just to feel something. I had become afraid of being myself. I felt as if I was being chased by a black hole that would swallow me whole. Finally, when I was 25, I decided I had to end my life. Fortunately, I never got the chance. That night, I bumped into my 16-year-old sister, Isabella, outside my room. Her eyes were sw swollen and she was sobbing. I don't know why. I can make the crying go away, she, sa she said. I was so bad. I knew that this question could be heard. Terry, this incident jolted me to my senses. The desire, uh, to, uh, desire, uh, to help Isabella from me to help myself. I called my best friend Kat. Kat. I told her everything and on her insistence, I visited a family service center and arranged to start counseling. I also joined a support group and started reading self-help books. More importantly, I made a decision to get. To get out of depression, I forced myself to make new friends. I also convinced Isabella to start counseling and made her come up with my friends and me instead of being cooped up at home. Today, two years later, she's much better. She's taking a pure university course and has a circle of supportive friends. Depression is ne neither a choice nor a bad mood you can snap out of. It's an illness with an underlying cause, but no matter how much other people try to help, only the victims can help themselves get better. My depressive thoughts have been disappeared, but they are less frequent and less intense. It has not been easy to share my feelings, but yes, these are all the signs. And uh, all the best part is I have been able to help Isabel, but I did lost myself, but I managed to find myself again. Thank you. Okay, thank you actually. <clears throat> okay, so uh, regarding the concerns of your, your thought, so I will give you uh, three minutes to take a small break and then we continue to our exercise. You can uh, drink some water first because I'm tired and can see that it's too tired for you. So you may uh, leave now. I mean, it's not leave means you are still staying in the line. Just take a small gap. That means you want to go to drink some water or you want to go to the toilet or <clears throat> anything that you want to do. I will give you three minutes. So 9, 12, we start again. Okay? Because we want to move to the paragraph and we want to answer the questions. Okay? You may go now. Or you can take a break. Yeah, you can take break. 9, 12, resume back. Only two minutes. Just a drinking break. <laughs>
Okay, time's up. <clears throat> we continue to answer the questions. Are you all there? Are you there, guys? Yes, a small break only. <laughs> okay, yes, uh, a drinking break. Now, after this, when you're done your class, you can take a break for long time, no worries. Just to drink some water because I can see that your throats become, it's your noise become too harsh because of it's become dry. That's why. Okay, uh, paragraph one. Eh? In paragraph one, when did the writer begins to suffer from depression? So, in paragraph one, because it is huge paragraph, you must go through one by one. As I mentioned, that it is really advisable for you to go by one by one because it's really it's too long when you miss to see paragraph one then you go and look at paragraph two that means you're wasting your time because it's not easy to find the correct answer and it's not straightforward you still need to read and uh, and and uh, what you can say mismatched things okay either the meaning is in the ball in it is the same meaning so it brings a different meaning depends on the situation now when she was and she was 14 okay so the answer should be d okay Okay, paragraph three. How did the writer feel after a phone call from a friend? She yeah. felt worthless. Oh, this paragraph one. And uh, this one is not A little wise in my mind keep telling that me how worthless, hopeless, and stupid I was. See? So it's C. In paragraph four, what was the main cause of the writer's depression? What is the main cause? Family problem, difficult home life, or unsupportive mother, verbal abuse from her father. Hey, family problem. Yes, most probably family problems. In paragraph one, five, what was the effect when the writer was too busy with her studies? Paragraph five. One, two, three, four. Seven, seven. Not feel any emotions. Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. And studies so yeah she could not feel any emotion in paragraph five why did the writer use the phrase uh, jolt uh, to my sense what is mean by jolt what is that jolt Jolt. Jolt means it's something that you're giving a surprise to your uh, to someone. It's like surprise. Okay, what is it? What we call surprise in Pasa? Terkejut, right? Surprise. It's giving surprise to your friends or uh, or to the someone suddenly. The joy to my sense. So, she was taken back as Isabella's depression situation. Okay, why did the writers decide to get help from the from her depression? Why? She wanted to be able to help her sister. Yes, she wanted to be able to help her sister. 
Okay. How does writer feel about her struggles with depression? How? She was glad that she was able to manage her illness, or she was relieved that her depression so disappeared, or she was happy that Isabella is coping well with her coping well with her illness. Or she said she was sad that she had no choice but to have sad her illness. So what could be the reasons? Mm, she was glad that she was able to manage her illness. Yes, maybe she was glad that she was able to manage her illness. And what is the benefit of sharing one's feelings when one is depressed? B, by sharing emotions, one can release anxiety. Yes, by sharing the emotions, one can release anxiety. That's the main idea. Okay? So this is how you should answer this question. Because it really needs to read and understood. The, really need to understand the, I mean, understand the phrase, understand the passage, understand the long passage. It's more, actually, it's, a, it's, not a, uh, it's not easy task, but it, it also, also how, however, it is also not a, uh, uh, I mean, a hard task. It's in a moderate, means uh, it's, uh, it's like, if you, if you read it properly and you really understand the passage, that means the questions will be easier for you to answer. But let's say you are not confident with your reading, you're not confident with the passage, you're not, you not even know what is the big, what, what I mean about, and what is the story about. That means you will face the biggest problems when you want to answer the questions. Because if you are really not understand the questions, it's really hard for you to answer the questions. Because all the answers from the passage and some of the answers you should think logically apart from the passage. So it totally depends on the passage. It's, and again, it totally depends on you, how you're going to understand the passage. Okay? If you, are, if you are a slow reader, read it properly. If possible, highlight the main point that you feel it is main point. Just highlight. No problem, no worries. Just cause one ringgit or two ringgit for your highlights. But it brings a more, more it bring a more changes in your life in your subject. Who knows? Okay. <clears throat> okay, for practice two. Uh, for practices again, it's a huge passage. Okay. For this time, I would like to call someone from here. Uh, other people here apart from Irish Sophia, are you there, Sophia? Long time, really, Sophia, not around. Can you hear me, Sophia? Mana Sophia, are you are you are you there, Sophia? I cannot hear your voice. Yes. 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 Okay, Sophia, help me to read this long passage. Try. Can you do it? Can you do for me? You stitch. You stitch. You Okay. Come on. Castle Rock Beach. Start, Sophia. Come on, Sophia. Start. Castle Rock. Beach is a beautiful strand for off sand near Coleraine in Northern Ireland. It was the summer holidays and 13 years old Matthew Forsley wanted to show his school friend Lisa suffering something exciting. Lisa had come to stay for a few days with Matthew's family in their caravan. Matthew wanted Reese to explore a cave. So with Matthew's 11 years old brother Aaron in tow, tow the boys hammered over rocks at the foot of a cliff on the beach. The cave ap appeared in front of them. To get in, they had to jump into the head high water and swim. Aaron refused to go into the cave. I will wait. Here, he said it was a warm afternoon. So Matthew and Reese 
selling their hands and their shorts and t-shirts. It was worth it. The cave was around 24 meters deep and 9 meters high. It was very dark and had a beach at the back of the cave. The boys then a happy help building them. Then the water lapping onto the beach started to get a little deeper. Soon the water reached the boys and close. It was definitely time to leave. Matthew started to swim out of the cave, but a large wave drew him back. He tried again, but the tide was too strong. It was impossible to fight the wave. Let's wait, suggested Reese. The tide will go again. By now, it was almost 4.13 p.m. Meanwhile, Aaron got bored waiting outside and headed back to the cabin. Are the others with you? As his mother, Pamela. No, they are exploring the cave, said Aaron. That didn't seem right, Pamela. The boys were going to the cinema that evening and needed to be back to eat first. Not all the coast guard. Uh, for a kilometer, a kilometer along the coast in the village of Port Rush, 51 years old, antique chambers and mechanic with the Royal National Life Exploration Institute. And, and I was preparing his son's and their dinner. His pager beat two boys were missing. Anthony and his crew hurried to the Port Rush lifeboat station and launched their lifeboat. They took a five meter thing high long. Back in the cave, the boys were starting to worry. They were sure Aaron would have gone to get help. It was now past five o'clock and the water was reaching that peak. Just then, they heard. They heard a shout from the entrance. The boys ran forward and saw a man on a rope at the entrance of the cave. He yelled to the boys to stay calm. They just flew between the epsilon and his commander and the lifeboat. The epsilon told the commanding officer that he could not get to the boys. There was a thinning silence on the boat. The crewmen knew the tide would be over the boys' heads by 7 p.m. and hour and a half way. The water was choppy and the reef guarded the cave and transit. Anthony felt that getting the thing into the cave would be almost impossible. Bradley, a senior husband, assumed the leading towards the cave. He had to get through a narrow gap to get to the cave and trans but with the sea being so low, he was good for such a difficult task. <coughs> the other alternative was to send someone to swim up to the cave and get the boys. It was also difficult as the waves were high. Gerard tried to get the head through a few times, but was excessive. He then asked Clara Onet, a 21 years old human, to swim out to the cave. He was attached to the thing with a rope. Cars for the reef, but the waves left his strength. His strength, and he found himself struggling almost immediately. He saw cars struggling and back him back to the. Then he decided to get in to help the boys. So with Gerard's help, he jumped to the water and swam toward the cave. The waves threw him against the rock, but he still continued. Finally, after a five minutes struggle with the wave. Anthony got to the boys. He decided to take Matthew first. 
So he put a life jacket and helmet on for Matthew and told Rhys to hang on. Anthony swam back to the back to the entrance of the cave and tried to get to the knee. The waves made edging of of the cave a difficult process. Your managed to get the ring he close enough and he pulled Anthony in. The crew managed to get Matthew a board and pass on a life jacket and helmet to Anthony. Why and you swam back to the cave? Tira took Matthew back to the main boat. He then decided to get take a gamble. Watching the waves go in and out of the reef, he felt that he knew the pattern of the waves. When the exact moment came, Tira moved in it towards the reef and made it through the gap before the next wave came crashing into the rocks. Anthony, meanwhile, was still exhausted. As he reached his they were both freezing. Mm-hmm. The water was 10 degrees, but the adrenaline kept mm-hmm. them going. And they started to swim back to the cave, trying, and he was so relieved and excited when he saw the he had the I'm so glad to see you. I think yes, after he had pulled his over the last few meters to the Coast Guard helicopter flew the boys to the hospital where they received treatment for hypothermia. Doctors estimate that they were just 10 minutes from that. Having recovered overnight, the boy went to see Anthony at the lifeboat station to say thanks. To them, Anthony was the real life hero. Thank you. Okay, actually, uh, thanks for the, that's a good read. Uh, I don't know, I think it, there must be someone who helped you to read this, or maybe also thanks to them. Okay, from paragraph one, why did Reese visit Matthew? Okay. So we go look at paragraph one. <clears throat> so why, 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 why? Summer holiday. So that's the reason why they sit. Yes, it was the summer holiday. Okay. From paragraph two, what was the exciting things that Matthew wanted to show race? Why? What is that? Paragraph two. The cave. Yeah, the cave. Yes, it's the cave. Okay, from paragraph three, what made it difficult for the boy to get out of the cave safely? What? The tide was too strong. So again, but. I was yes, tide was too strong. Okay, the tide was too strong. Okay, what do you mean by tide? What is mean by tide? Hmm? Hello. Okay, tide means uh, I pass on. It's something like the uh, much um, what do you call that? The much um, I pass on now. Okay. Air pasang ni dia punya wavelength dan juga dia punya wave tu sangat tinggi. Itu air pasang. Okay. From paragraph five, why did Pamela realize that something was wrong? Paragraph five. The boys were not back from exploring the cave at the beach. Yes, the boys was not 
back from the exploring the cave at the beach. That was something fishy. So from paragraph 9, what evidence suggests that the life-saving crew were anxious and pessimistic during the rescue operations? Anxious means sangat perisau. Okay. So, where? The crew felt everything impossible. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Somewhere here. Here or here. Yeah. The crew felt getting the dinghy into the cube would be almost impossible. Okay, that's why. Okay, <clears throat> number six. So before we move to number six, NGS means we know that it's worried about something. What is mean by what is mean by pessimistic? What is that? Do you know that? What is mean by pessimistic, Sabrina? Are you aware of this word? What was the question? What is mean by pessimistic? The meaning for the word pessimistic. No, no. Pessimistic means something that unwanted things want to happen. So that's why that's mean by pessimistic. Something like you feel like something what something pessimistic because uh, you are in the dangerous situations. That always situations tends to you to think like this. Okay. Paragraph eleven. Which word has the same meaning of brain? Okay. Ah, uh, which one? Brain. Bring me macam buang kan? Paragraph 11. Perceptive. Ada dekat sini, wait ah. Pass one. Where you can see sapped here. Um, yes, sapped is strength. Okay. So this one is drain. La. The drain means used out. Some it's similar like uh, almost finished. Your energy is drain out. Drain out means done la, tada, pada. You need to recharge back. Okay. From paragraph 13, what was the gamble that Gerard took? What Gerard, uh, gamble that Gerard took? 13. Um, he moved the dinghy through the cave following the pattern of the waves. Okay. 
Gerard. Yeah, here, right? So it moves the dini towards the gift following the pattern of the wave. Yes, that's the uh, gambles means gamble means uh, the tactic that they, he used. Like. Okay, what will be the best safety measure the local authorities can take to prevent an unfortunate unfortunate incident in that area? What uh, uh, safety measure that you can take here? Yeah. Uh, we ensure only experienced guides can take visitors and tourist vacation. Yes, uh, actually, that's the truth. Actually, you must ensure that only expect experienced guides because cave is not an uh, easy task for us because we must know where we need to in, where we need to, where we need to enter, and where we need to exist. If not, we are stuck inside the cave because we don't know how to get it. Get Away from the cave. We are not familiar with the road. That's the main thing and the main concerns. Okay. When you're going, when you are invited to go for any campaign or trip, to the, like jungle trekking, like uh, mostly in the school trip, they will uh, ensure people, ensure students to go and practice how uh, to, how, uh, you, that, that means you can learn how to track. Uh, how to how to go for jungle trekking? What you do for the jungle trekking? What the safety precaution that you must take? So these are all constant things that you must be very alert. Okay, because we are not familiar on the route because it's really different from our daily routine. So that's why. Okay. Okay. So it's D. Okay. Okay. Uh. So part four. Actually, we just go a little bit for part four before we close this chapter because almost 9.40. Uh, so the tips for part four is read and understand the passage. That's everything you must read first before you enter to the um, questions. Second, read all the answer options. Go back to the passage and read the sentences that come before and after the missing sentences. These sentences will help you guess the missing ideas because some of the missing, some of the answers given to you, it's really closest, closest to the gap, I mean, closest to the meaning. But you cannot choose the, the closest, you must choose the best. Because uh, if I'm not sure, if I'm not mistaken, they will give you uh, 10, I think so, 10, 10 or 8. You need to choose six, the best six with correct sequence. So you must uh, do it two work together. Choose the best six with the correct sequence. You cannot miss. I mean, the, if, if you choose the six best, but you miss the sequence, also, also consider wrong. So that's very important things. Okay? Because you must read through the gap and then before and after the gap, try to mismatch the sentences. Uh, the meaning should be the same. And and what is the subject of the sentences or the subject of the uh, from beginning and the, at the end is almost must be linked to the uh, optional answer there. Okay. If not, try to go for other options or you're really not sure, circle first then comes after you are than all the parts because don't waste your time because some of the sometimes you don't have the clear cut idea okay maybe this is not maybe take that okay it seems like this also can be the answer also this also can be the answer so you don't have the uh, clear uh, view for the questions go for the next questions and then come back again okay because we don't want to uh, i mean waste the time on the one question so rather than you can still answer the other questions and then later come back again who knows that later you can get the idea and then you can answer the questions okay <clears throat> because we are not always be cannot be always be genius at all times we are human we must have the error so even though genius also have the mistake can make mistakes so we are just a normal human being machine can make mistake okay 
uh, and we just a normal human being. So we also can do this thing. No That's no any objections for me. Okay. Now, and then uh, third thing, go back. Okay, pay attention to the noun, the pronoun, subject, work, agreement. Use the sentences for the gap. And uh, choose the best answer, fit to the gap, and then read the passage again uh, with those answers and check whether the passage makes sense That and the idea or the story falls. It's like similar, like uh, it, it, it's, it must be, it, it should be the, uh it sometimes you can say that okay um it's like it's difficult to say it's it's really difficult to say by word but uh, you don't know that when you do that uh, and questions so that's why you actually in these sections you need to pay attention that's the important things because uh, we face the difficulty when we want to arrange the word Okay, because this is a uh, objective, not subjective. So even though you feel the answer, try to read it two or three times back and back. So maybe uh, we can we can if it sounds like weird. Okay, we know that we make the mistake on this part. If it sounds like a smooth line, that means you are you are you are in the correct way. Just go on, continue to do other questions, no problem. But it seems like it sounds weird. That means you need to change some things. That's uh, Okay, and um, this is the most trickiest part because you need to reject two part. You cannot choose all. Must be choose the best six upon eight. So it's really a big task for you. Right? That's why these sections are mostly six on the last uh, questions. Okay. Okay. Uh, practice one. Okay. It seems like no time. So yes, we will sure we will do by the next two weeks. Uh, practice one okay but it's 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 not a really uh, difficult uh, sometimes it's it's also can consider an easy task for it depends on the types of the questions it's something like this type is it's look it's look like difficult for you this one maybe it's look like difficult for you but when it comes to these types of questions random information transfer it's really, uh, it's helped you to gain the mark, actually. That's the concern for this section, or this part, okay? Most of students face problem on this, particularly on this part, because it's really a uh, challenging part for students, okay? Because it needs to mismatch with the correct sentences, okay? So I hope you're clear with these sections, and uh, the, our next class will really focus on these uh, questions. And um, as so you also already familiar with this format because you're almost the, at the end of the uh, semester in your semester, your your subject is going to end by the next year, if I'm not mistaken. So can I know when is your final exam? This month or next month? Follow your school schedule. Which one? Uh, this month, it's tomorrow. Actually, it is tomorrow. That means you have no exams on the on January. Uh, I have. Uh, I can't. Can, uh, can you repeat back, Sabrina? Because I cannot understand what you mean by. Uh, I I have an exam on uh, next year, but uh, my elective subject only. It means that your elective subject will. We'll just start later, but uh, your English, Malay, Mathematics, and Science will start earlier, right? No, no. I mean, uh, the, uh, I mean, my uh, subject, English, and every subject will start in this year. This year, so your school holiday will be start on the middle of January. Am I right? Yeah, 16 December until January 1, I think. Okay, so your your school will stop operations on following week. That means after two weeks, they will stop. Uh, they will give you a gap for one uh, for two weeks for school holiday and then resume back on January. And then they will stop at uh, February or how? Uh, 
yeah, yeah. I think that that is um the January. I don't know. Oh, how about the others? Similar or not? Or different? No idea about others. Kali Shaiman, same. Similar or not? Um, I think January no exam. Your exam will start on next week or this week. how? This or week. This week. And mm. This week. Next week. Uh, trust. Okay, trust. Trust. Uh, so on January you have no exam. On January I think no because uh, maybe principal will uh like your headmaster. Do, uh, yeah, headmaster master will um macam umum kan lah. Tapi yang pindah atau pun tak, saya rasa lah. Ah. Tapi saya tak rasa lah kalau Januari tu ada exam. Saya rasa minggu ni je pun. Sebab dia cakap uh, perperiksaan hari tahun kan. Hmm. Hmm. Jadi Januari, Januari tu saya rasa mungkin tak ada kot. Rasa je lah. Tak tahu betul yeah. ke tak. Okay. Thanks for the information. So, okay, even though you have no exam on January, but you are still on exam mode on this month. Okay, and uh, uh, just for the uh, for the confirmations, this month you have school holiday or not? Um. Yeah. On yeah. in December until one and January. December. Oh. Okay. Okay. Two weeks. Oh, okay, okay. That means you can enjoy a bit, huh? Okay, okay. So it's just for the additional information because we want to know and arrange the paper. So maybe next week I can give you. If let's say you are no, not not say next two week. Let's say you are still in this class. Maybe we can still discuss because language no limitations for language. You still have times to do for to go for your SPM. So that's no end for the learning process. Okay. So all the best for your exam in exams, coming up exams, your lineup exam. Hope you all are passing with flying colors and uh, don't forget to do revisions on every subject, not particularly English, but every subject, as it will help you to gain more marks and to gain uh, more marks and more results. In your in your examinations, and maybe you can go for a good class if who knows that. Okay, so that's a special wish for me. Thank you. If you have any questions to ask with me before we leave this class, any questions, guys? No. no. Okay. Okay. So if no, I think that's all from me. Thank you. Good night. See you on the next two week. All the best for your exam. All hope you all passing with color. Uh, pricing with flying colors okay thanks and see you soon bye bye thank you thank oh yeah <clears throat>